Hi everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we're going to be showing you how to navigate your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active and also how to customize it. Now the Galaxy Watch Active doesn't have the rotating bezel of its cousin, the Galaxy Watch, so you're going to be swiping. So here we are from the home screen. To access your notification, you would swipe left to right. You can go home by pushing the lower right button. You can also access the applications by pushing the lower right button. And from here, you can swipe left and right to access more applications. If you want to reorder these, you can just hold the application you want to move, or you can just tap on the red line to remove it completely. And it will ask you if you want to uninstall it in case you do. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want to uninstall the alarm, but the option is there. To exit, just click the back key, which is the upper right button. Let's go back to home, lower right button. Now to access your widgets, you will swipe from right to left. Now you can also customize these widgets from the watch itself. You can remove it by tapping on the red line on the upper right. You can also add a widget by tapping on the plus button and it will show you the options that are available here. Or if you want to reorder it, you can actually hold it and drag it to where you want it to go. I'm not going to change any of these for now. We're going to go ahead and click the back button. Now let's go home. To access your quick settings, swipe from the top. And from here, it will tell you your battery life. You're connected by Bluetooth and additional settings here on the right if you swipe right. Airplane mode, battery saving mode, water saving mode is the one with the teardrops. Now we have just turned on water lock mode. Now this is great in case you're going swimming so the display will not work, it won't be sensitive, it won't start up applications, send messages, etc. So to turn this off, you will just hold the power button for two seconds. And now it's giving you a prompt that you should lightly shake your watch to remove the water so that the pressures or so that the sensors rather work correctly. Now I showed you guys how to do that from your watch and I'm also going to show you how to do it from your phone. So here we are in the application. Now let's go ahead and change the watch face first. Go ahead and select watch faces which is here on the bottom. And from here you have the options of selecting all the different watch faces. I'm going to go ahead and select the one that I had similar to the one before with the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Some of them may have a customized button such as this particular watch face. So you would just tap on customize. From here you can select the color and you can select the information that it shows. So on the upper part we're going to go ahead and leave the battery percentage on there. And on the bottom I'm going to go ahead and switch to steps. Actually. I'm going to switch the date for the top. So the date and the steps and click save. And there you have it. So that is how you change the watch face. For me it's a little bit easier to do this on the phone because it's just easier to see everything and to see the different options. Now next thing you want to do is customize notifications and applications. Notifications are basically which applications will send notification to your watch. Now you would tap on manage notifications and from here you can turn on or off which applications you want to receive on your watch. So you can receive of course alarm, emails, Facebook, Galaxy Store and you can turn these off as well. So if you don't want to receive Instagram notifications if you get a lot of them, Twitter, and just customize it for whatever works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Instagram and turn off Twitter as well. Now let's go ahead and click on the apps tab. From here on the upper right, just tap on that and you can actually reorder the applications and it will show you how many pages are available to you. Or if you don't want to mess with that and there's certain applications you use often, you can just click most recent application first. You can also uninstall some applications. You can just click uninstall and here it gives you the options of the ones that you can uninstall. So 
I'm just going to leave these on, but if you don't use these applications or if you don't want these applications, you can uninstall them from here. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is widgets. I showed you how to reorder them on the watch, and here's pretty similar. You would just hold it, the arrow, and drag it to where you want it to go. And if you swipe down, it gives you the option of adding additional widgets. Let's go ahead and add the alarm. Now, one last thing I'll show you is double press home key. So double pressing the home key is kind of like a quick action. And currently it's set to Bigsby. Now, if you don't want Bigsby to be the default, you can select anything else that is located on here. It'll open the application. So if there's one application you want to quickly access, or you can disable it, select that. I'm going to go ahead and just disable it for now so it doesn't accidentally turn on Bixby. All right, everyone, that is a quick tutorial on navigation and customizing your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.